My name's Rachel Riley. I'm the Avian Management Officer here at Carrick and Black Cockatoo Conservation Centre. Um, and my role is pretty much managing the bird movements from when they come in to Carrick and all the way through to when they release, like today. When we first get them, um, often we get them first as a rescue. So we run a cockatoo ambulance, we call it, and our volunteers and our staff go out and pick up uh, birds that have been injured or debilitated or handed into vet clinics or something like that. Um, so we go out, pick them up, assess them, and then take them to Perth Zoo for treatment. Often the, some of the injuries are pretty horrific, uh, but they do an amazing job with saving the ones they can. There are three species of black cockatoo here in WA. We have the Bowden's cockatoo and the Carnaby's cockatoo and also the red-tailed cockatoo. And these three species um, are quite vulnerable in the wild. And so here at the zoo, we do a lot of veterinary work on sick and injured black cockatoos that are um, perhaps hit by cars or found ill by people. And we look after them on, on behalf of Parks and Wildlife and nurse them back to health before they go out to rehabilitation. Today we examined a red-tailed black cockatoo who's been with us for three weeks now, getting treated for a broken wing and that now seems to be healing up really well so we're, we're very pleased and hopefully he'll be on his way to a rehab centre soon. Following treatment at Perth Zoo, uh, if the bird's deemed to be able to be released back out into the wild, uh, it is then transferred to Carrick and Black Cockatoo Conservation Centre for rehabilitation. We're involved at the tail end of the process, at the point in time where the birds are ready to be released back out into the wild, um, we become involved uh, with regards to attaching the transmitters so that we can actually study um, the movement and survival of the birds once they've been released. We've released 50 birds that have had the transmitters attached to them um, over, the, over the last few years and in this particular release today we're releasing six birds, four of which have the transmitters attached. see some of the released birds visit us back here and they've both banded so we know that they met in captivity and sometimes they bring their offspring back. It's very, very nice to see. I, I would love for all the birds we have here to be out in the wild but um, yeah, even the tame ones do get me here. <laughs>